through that truck back there riding my butt. I'm going 80 miles an hour. The speed limit is 65 miles an hour. That truck was all on my butt. See, that's why I passed by two different guardrails that were messed up. People don't know how to drive nowadays. Now I'm heading into what used to be labeled as Baja. Who has now been bought out by Food Lion? I ran into a cousin of mine. She gave me like a whole bunch of nods. That's the only downside about these masks is that you have to project a little bit better because she would she nodded at me, but like I just knew she didn't understand the word I was saying. gas station near my house done ran out of gas too that's crazy i'm gonna do a little drive by as soon as this traffic clears up and i'm gonna let y'all see it bang bang hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up bag 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 nothing but bags out here you get a bag you get a bag all the gas station pumps have bags. Well, y'all, it looks like I'm not gonna be doing any long distance driving for a while until I get this gas thing situated. I'm gonna have to do some serious research. I'm gonna have to do some serious research. So it turns out, whatever is going on is not only affecting gas stations, but it's also affecting stocks and crypto. So that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. I'm gonna have to actually go online and look into what the news is. But I really hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's having a good, decent day for those of y'all that actually have gas, for the ones that have ran out of gas, wherever you are, if you're having the same issues as my gas stations, then you're probably pretty upset because you ain't got no gas, so you can't go nowhere. So you got to Uber or Lyft. But um, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to keep these vlogs coming. Keep these reactions coming. Um, ever since I, like, listened to, like, DDG's advice from his, like... He has, like, this um, OnlyFans, except ain't no booty shaking or nothing like that. It's more like a, you know, let me give you some game and let me tell you what I did to, like, help me grow. I'm taking his advice and, you know, it's made things a lot more fun and a lot more um, easy. So um, yeah, I've been pretty much enjoying myself while like making these vlog videos for you guys and we're gonna stay consistent. It's every day, it's every day. You know, after doing that physical therapy thing, you know, it made me realize, you know, it's, it's been a good couple of months since I had a like real somewhat of a workout. And just from that little bit they had me do, like I already feel somewhat like a little sore in the arms you know that just that shows how long i've been out and like healing it just feels good to somewhat get back to who i was and get back to being active the way i need to be because you know i've been i've been gaining weight and i've been getting out of shape it feels i i don't know how to like I, I feel like these past few months have made me a little bit lazy because, you know, I've started walking like every day. At first it was every other day. Now it seems like it's about every day. And, um, you know, I was like sitting in that, I was sitting in my car for at least 30, 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. Well, it felt like 30, 40 minutes. It was probably more like 20 minutes. I just, I really didn't feel like going. But you know, I've been putting so much like success content in my brain, you know, sometimes when you wanna get right physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, you know, sometimes that requires you doing things that you don't feel like doing. So, you know, 
even though there's a huge part of me that's like I don't feel like going for a walk in the park right now I'd rather go home and eat and take a nap I'm making myself go to the park no that's a step in the right direction well that was a decent walk I think I walked about maybe three miles, two, three, maybe two, three miles. I walked maybe two, three miles. I thought about going home, but it's a little too early. So what I'm going to do is what I promised y'all a few vlogs ago. I'm gonna go downtown. Wait, no, I'm gonna, <laughs> no, not downtown. I'm gonna go down the country and I'm gonna give my cousin Jalen who's 15 that just got her learner's permit, a lesson in driving. All righty, I have arrived. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Doorbell? Man, it's my grandma's house, I ain't ringing no doorbell. I think I see somebody. Nope. Oh, the doorbell actually works. Huh? To the house, and they they they, 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 they were like, oh, like a camera. So well, they didn't touch it. I mean, I've seen plenty of doorbells that have cameras on them, so. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Yes, ma'am. Um, since I'm doing virtual, I can come in any time. Bye-bye. So your first day of work is Friday. Orientation is Friday. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, two. Two, okay. And then she's like, she's sending me an email where I have to do something. I'll make sure I pull up so <laughs> I can be like, where my chicken, Jayla? No. <laughs> She's like, I need picture ID, which I have, social security card, which I have. Oh, man. That was pretty funny. You have an iPhone charger? What kind of charger do you need? <laughs> oh, man. This is why you always keep the camera rolling. My little cousin said, I can't wear these. I got a hole in my butt. And her mama said, Everybody does. That was a good one. All I gotta do is this. Boom! Interesting. Yep. You ready? Yeah. All right. What have you learned so far? Um, I learned how to reverse. Um, Grandpa taught me like in my tracks, like in the field or whatever. Mm -hmm. Treat them like the yellow line, so I know like how to stay in the yellow lines. Right. Um, that's pretty much it. And like, I don't have to turn this way, and then he's like on that cliff, and I turn the other way on the field. And then, what else have we learned? I think that's it. Okay. Well, this is one of your high priority lessons right here before you move the car put your seat belt on and when you are coming out i was real nervous when i first started driving mm -hmm. when it came to doing this i always look both ways especially on this hill because people will come flying down yeah, 100 miles an hour you get hit coming out of this thing it's just gonna be pretty bad always look both ways both directions and if there's nothing coming, and if you don't hear nothing, go ahead and pull it out. Yeah. Have you driven on the road before yet? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Are you nervous to do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, because when grandma's like, okay, you're going to drive yourself. I'm like, no. <laughs> I can barely, like, I just learned how to drive. Period. I am not about to drive with no other cars on the road. To a complete stop. 
both ways. Cause some people are crazy. Yeah. Have you ever been down this road before? Yep, school. School? So, yeah. Oh, school bus. We will come like down this way, I think, to like pick up kids. Oh, okay. Well, we used to in elementary school. After that, we went down that way. Yeah. We went like down to Scuffle Town for like Rudolph Gordon. We were literally everywhere. I don't know why they went all the way around the places, but. Yeah. Because I never got to school on time. Ever. Because <laughs> of the bus? Yeah. That's crazy. What she would do is, like, she would come to my house at, like, around, like, 6.45, 6.50, which was okay, I guess. But it was a, she had to go to Simpsonville to pick up other kids. And school started at, like, 8.30. So she was always, like, she would come down, back through there, then turn around and stay in this area, then go back that way. I was like, whoa. That's one thing they're going to have you do. They're going to have you do something called a three-point turn. Just want to have you come over to the corner like this. Mm -hmm. Make sure no cars are coming. Back it up. No cars coming still. There you go. That's only if you have to turn around in the road or something. Yeah. So you've already been through all the different gears and stuff? Yes. Grandma has like way more than one. <laughs> yeah, that's because this is a 1997. Yeah. But they're all basically the same. Yeah. Grandpa was like, don't worry about the other ones, just do D5. Mama told me about neutral and then reverse and park. Yeah. Only time I've ever had to use neutral is if like you ran out of gas or something yeah. like that. I've never let me run out of gas, so I always keep my car on full. You saw where, like, there's a gas shortage? Yes, I did. I actually made two videos about that. Oh. I was shooting videos of all the gas stations I was going by, and they really are running out of gas. They had bags over all the pumps yeah. um, at multiple gas stations. I know. They were like, it's an East Coast thing. Yep, it's an East Coast thing. Everybody running out of gas. But I filled up my gas before everybody even caught wind of it, so. That makes sense. Yeah, they're like break for and fountain like literally out of gas. One thing that's super important is you got your signal light going before you get to your t place you're going to turn at. Yeah. You got to let the people behind you know. Just slow then, down. Then, they yeah, because they will come flying up your butt like that. And don't let them make you nervous either. You ain't gotta come swinging into the, the turn just because they all up on your butt and want you to hurry up. Yeah. Don't let nobody peer pressure you <laughs> into making a mistake. All right, Jalen. You're gonna have me go from right here? Mm-hmm. Into right, the field. Right here into the field. Yay. Yes. How do I, I get out like this? Yeah. Here we go. Your seat's like. You can move it up if you need to. How do I move it? How do you move it up? Oh, shoot. Yep, yeah, then there's a bottom one that slides forward if you need it to oh, slide forward. Yeah, I need to slide forward. Okay, <laughs> just use the wheel to pull yourself up. Yeah. Okay, where's your. Gas and brake, okay. Seat belts, everyone. Yep. <sighs> okay, gas. Bro, okay, brake. You only use gas. your right foot. Nope, Grandpa told me to do both. Both? For now. Oh, okay, I was, was about like, to say, what? He, what? he was like, for now, do both. Okay, push this in. Okay. Yeah, make sure your foot's on the brake. Okay. That way you don't start rolling when you change gears. And oh, yep, take your time. You ain't gotta yeah. go fast. Just go slowly and use. I do not like this. Okay, so let me know like when to Slow turn. down. Slow down. I slow down. Okay, now turn. Yep, turn on your turn signal. Okay. It'll be on your left. 
Yeah, and then just ease on in there. You don't have to put too much pressure on the gas. You can just let yourself roll. Make sure you're controlling it. Oh, Lord. What? That wasn't so bad, was it? It wasn't terrible. Is this what Grandpa had you do before? Yes. Oh, okay. He, like, had me going, like, all around the field. Watch out, little birdie. We're going to get right over. That'd be all right. <laughs> I remember a squirrel ran out in front of me, and... This is one thing you're gonna run into when you're driving too, Jalen, whether it's during the daytime or nighttime. You will have small furry animals run out in front of your car yeah. and you're gonna have to make them a really important choice. Either smack them with the car or risk getting hit trying to avoid them. And you wanna know what my choice always is? Hit the thing? Yep. I try my best to ease over a little bit to keep from hitting them, but oh well. It's either him or me. But luckily I didn't hit the squirrel last time I it ran in front of me. I just popped him upside the head, but oh. that was enough to make him lay there and he was moving. He just wasn't moving he out was of the road. He was twitching. Oh. He was twitching. Josh, you killed him. He was like Yeah, you practically killed him. Yeah, I just gave him a little brain damage. He'll be all right. <laughs> uh not brain damage. Yeah, this is way more easier to drive than grandma's car. That's because she's got an SUV. Yeah, and it sits up like really high on like the road. Not mm -hmm. really, like, but it wasn't like terrible. I don't like being like really low to the ground. Like grandpa's is whoa. <laughs> and I already told him like I don't want to like drive in his car because it's low like that. Like a speed bump, tragic. Mm. Yeah, that's one thing you'll find out too is that every different model make car feels different when you're driving. Yeah. Just wait till you get mess around, get behind a BMW one day. Them things got a lot of power. All right, Jalen. Pull back into the yard. Yep, you can pull back in front of the door and then put it in park. Okay, cool. Have you done that before? Yep, I parked grandma's, well not like that. She parked that, I didn't do that. Uh, okay, you remember where I was parked before, right? You were in, yeah, in front of the house. Right in front of the house. All right, here we go. Nice and easy. A little bit lower, more over to the right. Alright, now stop right here. Put it in park. How'd I do? Boom! You did pretty good. Thanks! I've seen worse, trust me. <laughs> yeah, it was not terrible. I'm just not. What the freak, Josh? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you'll be a good driver. For your second try, you did really good. Thanks. Yes, ma'am. Well, that'll be it, folks. I'll be wrapping this up. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And is there anything you want to tell the people, Jalen? No. <laughs> yeah, that's my usual answer.